Rochester Mayor Lovely Warren and two others are facing felony criminal charges connected to campaign finance issues during her 2017 run for re-election. Christian Garzon has been on this all afternoon. He joins us now live outside of City Hall with more. Christian. Adam, we spoke today to city leaders and lawyers who had a lot to say about the charges against Mayor Lovely Warren and two others. DA Sandra Dorley said we could be talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in all this. Now, the lawyer for the mayor says they actually look forward to their day in court because that will clear the mayor's name. In 2017, Mayor Lovely Warren's opponents complained about a transfer of money from Warren's political action committee to her campaign committee, saying it was illegal and should be investigated. And now it has been. We, we assert by this indictment that this is allegedly a scheme to defraud. A Monroe County grand jury handed up an indictment against Mayor Lovely Warren and two others who worked to get her reelected, Albert Jones Jr. and City of Rochester Finance Director Rosalind Brooks Harris. Whenever there's, you know, an allegation of, of public uh, violation of public trust, it, it does, you know, it, it's, it's a horrible thing to see in any community and of course I was you know very disappointed. At the time the Warren campaign apologized for what they called a PayPal error but Dorley says this was no mistake. The lawyer for Mayor Warren says prosecutors will have to show there was criminal intent to violate the penal law and election law. The board uh, gave them some advice and they took it. They did exactly what the board uh, said to do. Rachel Barnhart, who ran against Mayor Warren in 2017, today saying this is a sad day for Rochester. The magnitude of these allegations are nothing short of cheating. Barnhart says this will plunge the city deeper into crisis, but legal expert Robert Brenna wants to remind everyone that these are still only indictments. She will always be innocent and presumed innocent unless and until she is found guilty of by a jury of her peers. Now all defendants are scheduled to be arraigned on Monday. From City Hall, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam, back to you in the studio. Christian, thank you. The judge will be Cayuga County Judge Thomas Leon, and we're going to have live updates on Monday. So follow News 8 on Facebook and Twitter for the very latest on this case. And of course, rochesterfirst.com, always a good source as well.